Hello, this is Joshua Techtopia TV, and I have a few questions for you. Do you want to upgrade to Windows 10, but you hate the new start menu? Are you on Windows 10 and love everything about it except the start menu? Do you love Windows 10 and love the start menu, except the new all app section really pisses you off? Well, then I have the product for you. If you're not familiar with Classic Shell, I'm going to do my first of many tutorial videos on how to install and set it up. So first, what you need to do, like here's the current start menu and here's the current all apps. Makes you feel like you're a kindergartner, doesn't it? You got zero through nine, A's, B, C, F, G, H. So it's kind of cumbersome and a lot of people I know complain about it. So if you have a way of fixing it, why not fix it? So guys made this nice little program here. So let's go to www.classicshell.net. Now I'm gonna put this link down in the description. So if you guys decide that you want to use this program after you watch the video, or you're already currently using it and just don't know how to set it up, then it's down below in the description. So what you need to do is right here, download now for 4.2.4. It just came out for Windows 10, so now it works with Windows 10. And click download now. It'll take you over to Foss Hub, which is the file server site that they use. And down here, if you have Chrome, you'll see that it has already finished installing or downloading. So now we will click down below to start it. So here you want to go to next, you know, read the license agreement for the end user stuff. So that way you make sure that you're not going to get, you know, screwed over in any way, which you're not. It's pretty, it's a, it's a safe program. People have been using it for quite a long time. Uh, so accept the license agreement, click next. Now here you have some options. You have the classic Explorer, which obviously is the Windows Explorer. If you want to go back to an older version of that, which I prefer the Windows 8.1 slash Windows 10 Windows Explorer. I think it looks a lot better and it's laid out better. So um, I will, entire feature will be unavailable. So I am going to X that one out because I don't want that one. Uh, the classic start menu is the main reason why we came here. So the classic start menu is the one that we will leave for sure. Classic IE, I personally don't know very many people that even use Internet Explorer other than to download another browser. So I... I'm not going to use that one either. So I will uncheck that one. Classic shell update. Now definitely leave this one on here because you wanna make sure that you get updates. If you don't get the updates, then you might run into some problems, right? So we wanna leave that option available. So I have classic explorer checked off, classic start menu on, classic IE checked off, and classic shell update on. Now the create a start menu folder, I haven't really seen exactly what this changes. So I just went ahead and left it cause it wasn't a big deal. Um, and then click next and then uh, click install to begin. So we'll click install. Uh, this will pop up here saying, asking if you're okay with classic shell, you know, <clears throat> uh, allowing this app to install software on your computer and you want to say yes, it'll install. Now you'll come up with this. So here, you know, you can go to the website, you can donate to them, which I have actually after using the program, I liked it so much and thought it was actually really nice that I went ahead and donated like five bucks or whatever. So it's not nothing major, but you know, I feel like if it works for you and you like it, you know, pay, pay the, the, the programmers, I mean, the developers and everything, because they obviously know what they're doing. Uh, uncheck the view readme file unless you really need it. I didn't need it, so I uncheck it. So hit finish. Now I have installed this before and I uninstalled it just so I could work through the steps with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this so I can go back to my desktop. So as you can see, it's still Windows 10. All of this is still Windows 10. This down here is Windows 10. The icon is Windows 10. But if I hit the Windows key, you'll notice that it looks like Windows 7 but it has my Metro skin with Windows 10 on it. 
So it's a perfect blend of Windows 10 and Windows 7. This is absolutely amazing. And I think my buddy who does my tech show with me, Justin, is actually going to eat this up because this is his biggest problem is the all apps. If you go through it, it brings it right back to how it was on Windows 7. Freaking amazing. I haven't used Windows 7 other than at work in a very long time. So I kind of forgot how nice it really was because at work I just use whatever, you know, the three programs that I have on the taskbar. I rarely open the start menu at work. I have no reason to. So now that I've been playing around with this, it's absolutely amazing. And I don't know why I haven't used it before. So to make the video short, because I don't want to go too long, um... Now, for most people, at least that for me, whenever I did the first install, it came up and it brought the uh, classic start menu settings up. Like they, they, they popped up automatically on my computer. So th this is the option, the, the options that popped up for me. You have the classic style. So if you do this and you can see it real time. So boom, there's a classic style. Classic style with two columns or Windows 7 style. Okay. So then you can also replace the start button with arrow or like the old Windows 10 or XP and all that kind of crap. Or you can go really old school on this, which I'm not going to because I like the Windows 10 logo. Um, so other than that, you can see that there are a slew of options. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. So if you go like the, um, let's say, skin. Here you you can change your skin. So I have Metro set now. If I wanted to, I could go to Classic Skin. And as you can see, now it's all gray. It looks like Windows XP or Windows 95 or whatever. It looks absolute crap in my opinion. Metro, like I said, will go back to whatever your Windows 10 setup is set at. Uh, Midnight makes it this weird dark, like high contrast, I guess. Windows 8 makes it look like Windows 8. And Windows Arrow makes it look like Windows 7 Arrow. So literally, it's like having Windows 7, uh, Windows 7 skin on top of your Windows 10. So you get all the benefits of Windows 10, but you can have it look like Windows 7, which you're, you know, accustomed to. You've been using Windows 7. Most likely, most of you have been using Windows 7 for a really long time now. So you're, you've grown accustomed to it. You know what it looks like. You know your way around it. I will probably um, suggest this for uh, like my dad, he recently updated to Windows 10 and I'll probably suggest this to him because the menu looks exactly like what he's been using for like the last, I don't know, five years. So it will make it much easier for him to navigate and do all the stuff that he needs to do. So I will probably um, uh, suggest this to him and see if he wants to install it and use it and show him this video. So I will go back to Metro because I enjoy that skin. I enjoy the look of this, but I enjoy having the Windows 7 style apps and all programs. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these settings because that would just take way too long. So I'm not going to go about all, go through all of that. But a start button, you can replace the start button, and then you can change the icon size. You can change like the color of it. I mean, you can go through so many things, like the main menu, cascading sub menu inside the main menu. You can show Metro apps. You can show folders first or open automatically. You can pin certain things. You can set your recents so your recents don't uh, you know show up as frequently. Or I mean, it's just amazing the amount of stuff that they've added in here like this. User files display as a link or you can have it display as an item or you can have it display as a menu. So like, uh, let's say like documents. Uh, where is documents? Documents is just a link right now, I think, right? Yeah, it's just a link. So if you click on it, it'll take you to your documents folder, right? So if I chose it to say display as a menu now it should, do I need to hit okay? Oops. Let me pull it back up, sorry. Um, display, oh, I, I did the wrong one. Um, this one I want to be display as a link. Um, documents, display as a menu. So now documents is a menu, see how it has the bar? 
Now that is nice. I like that a lot. So if you wanted to, you could set, instead of it opening up your pictures as a link to where it opens up a separate window, because that might annoy some people, you can have it display as a menu. So now if you bring it, hit the Windows key, now it's a menu. So now you can go up here and you can click on some of your old pictures. Now it's a menu, see? So now it's a, it's a menu the whole way through. This is amazing. This right here is probably one of the biggest features of it, in my opinion, other than changing the look and making it feel like the old school way that you've been doing it. So now you can easily just go through pictures instead of having to click on it and you know open up a separate thing. You know what I mean? So um, it's really nice. I do like the fact that they allow, gave that option. So now instead of having to open up this or something, you can just, Boom, boom, menu, 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 and click on the picture you want. So that's really nice. So you can change literally everything that's on here. You can have it set to where it doesn't display at all. You can have it set to where it displays as a menu, a link. Um, I mean, there's just so much stuff. The search box, you can have it to where it doesn't search the Metro apps, which is nice because the Metro apps suck. Um, so I'm gonna have that checked right now, unchecked right now. So the Metro apps are the ones that ha like Windows have to where it like runs that program instead of like a desktop version of the program. So it's essentially it's like an app. Like think of like an app like your phone or your tablet or something like that. It's just an app. It doesn't feel as solid, in my opinion, as a desktop application. It's just not the same. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but if you're like me and you don't like the Metro apps, that's a good option right there. You can turn that off so when you search for a program, like say Skype, it won't find the Skype app, it'll find the Skype for desktop first. And that's good, that's really good. So anyway, there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff. And like I said, I could probably make an hour long video on this just trying to show everything that this thing can do. It is amazing. So I hope this helped you. Um, I, like I said, I'm gonna have a link for classicshell.net uh, down below. And I really hope that this helped you uh, find the program. It's free, 100% free. There's a paid version of a different, uh, a different company made the similar thing. It's, um, it's a paid version. This one here is free. And as far as I understand, it's going to remain free. And it is absolutely amazing. I've always heard people talking about it. I've never used it myself because I never really had much of a problem. But I defended Windows 10 um, app thing, the, the, the start menu and the apps and all that other stuff when my friend said that he didn't like it. But I just used this this morning or last night or early this morning and wow, I really forgot how nice the Windows 7 start menu and the programs list really was. It, it's a night and day difference compared to Windows 10 or even 8.1. So this does work on 8.1. So if you are watching this video and you have 8.1 and you don't like the Metro start menu and all that other kind of stuff, get rid of that crap right now with this. This is amazing. So again, this has been Josh with Techtopia TV. This has been the first of my tutorials, uh, video segments and playlists that I'm going to start. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment below telling me that you enjoyed this video and that you want me to continue to do more. And I will gladly do more. So again, thank you for watching and have a good day.